Hello everyone. This video is about uh, monitoring your OpenShift environment using a cockpit which which gets installed when you set up OpenShift. Right now what you're seeing is a I logged in logged in into this cockpit tool. Uh, it runs on port 9090 by default when I log in it takes me to this dashboard it's a, this is a quick overview I'll just browse over the features so uh, once I logged in initially I just found my master here and I had to add all my nodes by clicking on this plus, but plus button so one as as long as your the machine the master is able to SSH onto these nodes it this uh, you, you can add all the nodes to be seen here so the default option it takes you to the dashboard and here you're seeing the CPU metrics here and one for each box there is a color for each of these hosts and uh, the same the graph is the CPU utilization graph is shown for uh, each of these areas right now there are similar graphs from memory network disk IO etc the next thing <coughs> is this cluster tab when we move on to this you can see that there are it displays all the Kubernetes services and also the nodes here. And by default, it is set to all projects. You can filter by individual products, uh, pro projects if you want to. So as an administrator, you have access to all the projects. And uh, now you can filter by individual pro projects and see what services are running in each project, etc. right? Um, there are also some features to be able to edit the number of replicas by each service so there are some additional options here but basically this this allows you to filter now moving on to containers you can see if you press on the containers you'll see all the containers running on any node so if you want to take stock of which application container is running where which part is running where you can see all the parts and their the nodes on which they are running their current status whether they are running or terminated or whatever now there is another view of the same which is the topology view so here this is the box so you can see this is node 3 and on node 3 there are so many pods running right and these this guy is the replication controller that is managing these parts right there is one more node so this particular replication controller is managing all these parts as well as these two parts and some of the pods are running on node 3 and the others are running on node 4 right so you can see how the topology of your pods running are and how they are interconnected and all. next uh, there is details on um, all the nodes and the services and what the status of those services are what are all different routes for different applications what are different deployment configurations and uh, the different replication controllers and how many replicas are they supposed to be running things like that right and you can also filter these by individual projects the next one is the images so this gives you a complete list of all the images that are there in different image image streams belonging to different projects so you can see that this these are different images right that that are uh, uh, loaded from Red Hat's registry, as well as this is my project's image stream, and there is one image in that, right? And if I click on that, it tells me the tag for the Docker image, when it was created, and all that stuff. Now this, this particular library slash uh, this number, it is pointing to my internal Docker registry, and this internal Docker registry has a bunch of image streams here. And all these image streams belong to different projects. Next, let's filter by machine, right? So here we have, uh, as I said, there's a master and four nodes. If I click on the master here, now it shows the metrics for this specific box, right? I have an option to restart here. If I want to restart my master uh, from cockpit itself, it shows CPU, memory, network metrics, disk IO, and all that on the master. It shows the list of services. Now, these are the services running on the master. These are not OpenShift services. Um, you have, you can view different things. And then it also shows the list of containers that are running and their combined memory usage, CPU usage combined and all that. 
which pods are running where, which pods are running, which pods have stopped, and all that. The amount of storage space used, all the images. Then there are, you can access logs. So by default, it shows errors. You can move to warnings, notices, and all that. So it pulls all the logs from the master. Now, from the, it also shows the networking activity. And uh, there are other tools in terms of like what subscriptions are being used by this box, what are, who are different administrative accounts. The, you can directly access the master from here and uh, see what's going on, right? So heading back here. So, so that was a quick overview of Cockpit. I hope uh, you will find it useful for your needs uh, in terms of monitoring the, your OpenShift cluster. Thank you.